Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a video for you guys called Things I'm Loving. And I'm calling it Things because it's not necessarily all beauty products. There's also things in here that I want to just talk to you guys about. So let's just get started. One of the first things I want to show you is going to be beauty related and it's going to be a hair product. And this is something that I've been using for I think a couple weeks now, I'm not sure. But anyways, it's called Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Leave-In Conditioner. It's intense moisturizing for all curl types and it's anti-frizz anti curl retention. And the reason that I got this is actually because I have naturally wavy hair. I know it doesn't look like it today because I just blow dried my hair today. I didn't really do anything to it. It just took a brush and a blow dryer. Um, <clears throat> but I do have naturally naturally wavy hair. I wish I had curly hair. I have naturally wavy hair, so I like to do anything that I can to enhance any curls that come with it. And I found that this actually really does help out my hair. Um, I'll use a little bit of it right after I get out of the shower at night, and I usually wash my hair at night. So I'll put some of this in my hair, and then I'll just sleep with it in. And then when I wake up in the morning, I have a little bit more of a curly wave than just a wavy wave. So I really, really like this stuff, and it's pretty inexpensive. I got it from Ulta. I forgot how much for, but I love this stuff, you guys. Yeah. The second thing that I have is a Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protectant. And this is actually something that I used to buy a long time ago, and I really, really liked it. It's a leave-in spray, and it's a heat protectant, and I really love the way it smells. Oh my god, it smells amazing. I think that it's a great heat protectant, and it's just really nice. Like today, I put it in my hair when I did just the blow dryer, and as you can tell, I mean, these parts look a little weird because I had my hair in a ponytail. But I mean, for the most part, my hair looks pretty smooth, and I like that. I like it, I like it. <laughs> that looks pretty good. So that's another thing that I'm currently loving. This is the NYC Color Will, the Mosaic Face Powder, and this is the All Over Bronze Glow. I love this stuff because it is amazing, and if you guys look at it up close, it's all matte. There's no shimmer to this whatsoever, and I love it. I use it to contour my face seriously every single day. And what's even more amazing about this is that it's like seriously like less than three dollars. I think you guys, or it's three ninety nine. It's either like two ninety nine or three ninety nine. Either way, it's less than five dollars, and it is amazing. I seriously am in love. I can't even tell you guys how much I love this stuff. And like this weekend, my sister came over and she tried it. And she's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And I was like, dude, I know, and it's super cheap. So this is a huge product that I'm loving or thing that I'm loving. I keep saying product. It's a huge thing that I'm loving currently. Another thing that I'm currently loving is this little sponge here. It's kind of supposed to be like a beauty blender and as you can tell it's quite used now. And I got this from Mini in the Box and it's kind of like a beauty blender and I think they're like two dollars on the website which is like amazing because I've been wanting to buy one so bad but I was like I'm not going to spend money on a beauty blender so I wanted to try it out first to see how I liked the sponge on my face. And to tell you guys the truth, I've seriously been loving it. Like, loving it. I use it every single time for my highlights. So I'll go, like, right underneath here, and I'll do that. And it seriously makes everything feel so soft. Like, you'll touch your face, and it just feels extremely soft. So now I cannot go without this. Like, I'm used to using brushes for everything, but this is amazing. So I guess I can see why everybody likes the Beauty Blender, because I'm assuming the Beauty Blender is, like, a lot better. But, I mean, for $2, I would totally... <laughs> buy a million more of these like the last beauty product that I have is actually a little concealer palette that looks like this seriously I am just like I'm so in love I'm so glad that I decided to try this stuff out so you'll see that I use these two colors quite frequently I use this for my all over lid um, kind of as a primer but for the most part I use these two yellow shades but I use those as my highlighter, so I'll just take a little bit of that, put it underneath here, then take my little wannabe beauty blender and kind of blend it all in. And it's seriously so great, you guys. Like, I have been using this every single day since I got it, and I am loving it. The concealer itself is, is pretty creamy, which I like because I feel like I can't really use too much powder, especially under the eyes, because it gets into all my little wrinkly cracks, if you guys can see those up close little wrinkly cracks um, if I use powder like everything gets into those cracks so I feel like if I use a little bit of cream it's a little bit better for my skin type I was always so scared to use cream because I thought it was gonna look oily on my skin or that it was gonna kind of fade away with like any little brush stroke but it actually is really really good quality like it's super like okay I just took a little swatch I'll just put it on my hand here so you guys can see it look at that it's so creamy but it blends out so nicely so yeah so I will just definitely say that I'm loving this right now because I have not been using anything else to conceal or highlight my face aside from this okay and for my last two 
things that I'm currently loving. Um, I just wanted to show you guys something that I got. I got this probably back in April. I don't really know, but I have been loving this. I cannot even understand how I work without it anymore or how I even used to work without it. When I come home, I only have my little 13 inch MacBook Pro and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with it? Well, being the amazing Nino that he is, my Nino actually gave me one of his old Mac screens because he bought himself a new one and it is huge, you guys. Dun, 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 dun. Look at how huge this is. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall. Okay, look at how huge this is. This is absolutely humongous and it is amazing because now look at how big this is i can do so much editing and so much classwork on this humongous screen and i am in love i honestly don't know how i'll ever go back to anything small ever again like, so i have always wanted an imac and i was like i'm gonna save up for an imac i'm gonna get an imac my nano was like you're gonna want a laptop more than you're gonna want an imac trust me because you want to be able to travel with your laptop yada yada but i'm like yeah but i love the huge screens i love that it, you know it's like a bigger workspace but honestly you guys now that i have this huge screen i don't even need an imac i am perfectly capable of doing everything that i want to do on my laptop in this huge screen it is the best I'm, this is probably the thing I love the most out of this whole entire video. I'm not even kidding you guys. I am in love with this. So, so the final thing that I'm currently loving is something called Opinion Outpost. And I was sponsored by Opinion Outpost to do this video. So I will mention that all these other pod all these other all these other products were just basically my own opinions. I was not sponsored to do videos on those products, but I wanted to put this in here because I like to do anything that is basically free money. I love it. I used to go to the mall and they would be like, hey, you can get $2 if you just taste these different foods and tell us which ones you like or whatever, right? And I did that before. And then I also like to do focus groups. So I'll do, like I just did one recently at the Tempe Public Library for sexual harassment. And it's just you give them your opinions, you give them, you know, like your thoughts on everything and then they give you money, which is awesome. So when I heard about Opinion Outpost, I was like, okay, hold on. You're telling me that I just give you my opinion and you give me points that basically lead to money. I was like, yes, I am all for it. So that's why I'm okay with telling you guys about this. I'm like all for telling you guys because I think it's great. And if there's an opportunity that arises to let you guys win money, I'm all for it. Basically what it is, is you will take a little questionnaire and that questionnaire will tell you if you are qualified to do that survey. And if you're qualified, you'll do the survey and you'll get points. If you're not qualified, they'll be like, sorry, you're not qualified to do this survey, but here are some more surveys. So that's what's awesome. You always have a chance to take a survey. Once you've taken the survey, you'll gain points. I think the point, I think the point system is like five, every survey is like five points or something like that. From the ones that I've taken, they've been five points. Um, and you just keep collecting those points. So every survey you take, you collect and collect and collect. Once you get to a certain amount of points, you can start to cash out for different things. So for instance, after 100 points, you can cash out for a $10 iTunes gift card. For um, 50 points, you can cash out for a $5 Amazon gift card. There's a drawing that you can get entered in every time, like a prize drawing, and that only costs one point. So in one survey, you get five entries to a drawing. Like I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then again, you can also just cash out for money. So after 100 points, you can get $10 to a PayPal account. Either way, how awesome is it that you guys get to take surveys, give your opinions, and get paid for it? That is all of my products that I'm currently loving. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and if you guys want to see some more products that I'm currently loving kind of thing, let me know. Like, like this video if you want to see more of those kinds of videos. But anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!